Human beings have an irrepressible urge to seek the limits of their capabilities, to stretch the envelope of experience to its bursting point. It is a physical and intellectual urge which has resulted in restless wanderings from the ocean floor to the first tentative steps on the lunar landscape. But it is an urge with a purpose, to amplify and clarify, to utilize the technological underpinnings of our society to define the limits and then exceed them. And in the case of one innovative manufacturer of industrial sealing components, it is an urge to determine the performance parameters of products, to draw upon over 100 years of dedication, commitment to customer satisfaction, and groundbreaking technology to produce leading lines of exceptional products, and to subject those products to the most thorough, rigorous, and comprehensive testing in the industry, to assure that one name becomes synonymous with quality, Garlock. Garlock testing procedures are a reflection of a company policy and commitment aimed at producing the finest industrial seals available. These diverse and broad-ranging methods are unequaled in the industry and are applied in a variety of important areas. They are vital in research and development efforts where they assist in determining the effectiveness of new designs and materials. And quality control applications assure that the high standards set by Garlock products are maintained day after day, year after year. Tests and test facilities fall into two main categories, physical and functional. The physical test lab conducts a number of procedures aimed at determining the compositional makeup and characteristics of various materials. Data on specific densities, melting points, thermal stabilities, and a host of other important properties can be obtained. One of the most useful and often applied procedures is thermal gravimetric analysis, or TGA. A sample of the material being tested is placed in a heat chamber, which can be filled with various atmospheres. By analyzing weight changes during controlled heating, a profile of the sample's composition is obtained. This information is used in quality control efforts and to help customers determine if the tested material is suitable for their application. Gasketing material is often examined in this manner and the procedure is also used in performing thermal stability tests. Functional tests are designed to recreate real-world service conditions and are generally built around a specific product line. They evaluate product performance in a variety of areas, and many of these facilities are monitored by a state-of-the-art computer, assuring the most precise, accurate results possible. The ASTM sealability test measures leakage between the flange faces and gasket, as well as leakage through the gasket itself. Two stands are used, one for liquid measurements, and one for both liquids and gases. The gasket is placed between flanges, which can be loaded with varying amounts of compression. The system is most commonly used to measure nitrogen gas leakage, usually at an internal pressure of 30 psi, although this pressure can also be varied. Leakage, if any, is indicated by variations in manometer readings. A different sealability test determines the permeability of gasketing materials by determining the amount of gas transmitted through a gasket. As in the ASTM test, a gasket is placed between two sealing surfaces. Nitrogen gas is pumped through the system, but at a much higher pressure of 580 psi. Flange loading is also greater at 4640 psi. This sophisticated equipment is designed to test products against the toughest European DIN standards. Similarly, leakage is indicated by a manometer, but this test is far more precise than ASTM F37 as it is hydraulically loaded, uses larger gaskets, and measures leakage only through the gasket. A gasket's ability to retain torque is another important factor in its effectiveness. The DIN 52913 test calculates the degree of torque retention maintained by a gasket by applying a predetermined flange load and heating the system to a specific temperature. 
The standard test duration is either 16 or 100 hours. The gasket load is measured and displayed by a digital gauge. The differential between the readings at the end of the cycle, before and after releasing the load, indicate the gasket's torque retention capability. Mechanical seals play a vital industrial role by providing a positive, leak-free barrier for hazardous chemicals and are extensively tested to ensure reliability. Double and tandem mechanical face seals are tested in a closed loop system. The seals are placed in a stuffing box capable of creating a variety of working environments. Parameters such as fluid type, shaft speed, temperature and pressure, both within the seal cavity and in the stuffing box, are completely adjustable. A barrier fluid is circulated in the seal cavity between the double or tandem seal and is maintained through the use of an externally pressurized reservoir tank. Additional piping provides fluid to the stuffing box while numerous gauges and sensors record data on frictional heat generated, energy consumption, flow rates, and overall effectiveness of the seal. Using this system provides valuable information which assists in evaluating and improving mechanical seal designs. The most important function of any oil seal is bearing protection. To assure that Garlock products accomplish this better than all others, exhaustive tests are run on various sizes of closure oil seals. Test stands consist of housings and rotating shafts that represent real-world process equipment, such as pumps and motors. Variable control is provided for lubricant temperature, up to 400 degrees Fahrenheit, shaft speed up to 10,000 RPM, and system pressure up to 100 PSI. Additionally, shaft misalignment and runout can be reproduced, recreating realistic work conditions. The integrity of the seal is monitored for 500 hours assuring that Garlock products meet or exceed the toughest RMA specifications. The equalizer seal represents the ultimate in bearing protection. To make sure that it lives up to its reputation, thorough testing is conducted at a specially designed station. The test stand consists of four chambers with plexiglass viewports and is capable of running up to five equalizer seals at once. Shaft speed is variable up to 10,000 RPM, and shaft misalignment and runout can be reproduced to better simulate real-world environments. Lubricant churning and washdown conditions can be created simultaneously. The system is also capable of simulating airborne contamination, adding to the versatility of the test procedure. This procedure determines the maximum pressure endurable by an expansion joint. The expansion joint is bolted between two flanges, the uppermost of which is stationary, while the lower one is movable to simulate the stresses and conditions encountered in a real plant situation. A liquid is pumped through the system and the pressure is increased until the joint is finally ruptured. Cycling and pressure testing is not only dramatic, it is useful in selecting the best materials for expansion joint construction and defines the maximum operating parameters of current models, including the complete line of Garlock PTFE expansion joints. This procedure evaluates the effectiveness of valve packing rings and various set combinations. There are five test valves. Four are hand actuated. The other is motor operated and is connected to a load cell, providing a continuous readout of actuation force. Actual service conditions are recreated with temperature variable up to 1200 degrees Fahrenheit and system pressure variable up to 4500 PSI. Realistic service parameters are established through the use of this equipment. New materials and designs are evaluated as well. This test exposes valve stem packing rings and gasketing materials to conditions encountered in a fire and is of special interest to customers in the petrochemical and refining industries. Packing and gasketing materials are installed in a 6-inch gate valve, which is then heated over a 30-minute time period to 1,100 degrees Fahrenheit. At the end of the designated burn interval, the gas burners are turned off and system pressure is applied. 
Sealing checks are then conducted with and without stem actuations at both high and low pressures. The Garlock fire test establishes the best materials and packing configurations for those applications where there is a real fire potential. Garlock test procedures, the most innovative and thorough in the industry, covering the entire range of Garlock product lines. Test integrated in research and development and quality control efforts, including an ongoing vendor quality audit and SPC program. The procedures highlighted in this video represent only a part of the total Garlock testing repertoire, but they are indicative of Garlock's commitment to total customer satisfaction. And these test procedures will be a crucial component in the development of future sealing products. Products which will continue to reflect the highest standards of the industry leader, Garlock.